And this week 13 on your side of town has been highlighting all the great things happening in Cedar Springs. And tonight Arlena Holland takes a look at what the red flannel town might look like in the next five years. Cedar Springs, home of actual water springs, is focused on growth over the next five years. The two big areas are infrastructure and parks and recreation. We really try to be that that small town feel. Cedar Springs is a small town in Kent County, but one that offers a large lifestyle. Mayor Pamela Conley. I am exceedingly grateful to live here. Is enthusiastic about her community and its progress. And if you want to maintain health, and um, quality of life. You need to be able to move and you need to be able to get out in nature. That's why there are lofty goals to improve parks and recreation in the city. It all begins here at the heart of Cedar Springs Park, connected to the White Pine Trail. It's home to a natural rain garden, cleaning up water before it flows into the creek and the amphitheater built last year, ready for new summer activities. We have a concert in the park series that the city sponsors and it is um, every Wednesday starting June 8th. Also, the Cedar Springs Spring. This one over here has been going for as long as anybody could remember, easily over 100 years. Conley said there are more of them around town, but they're capped and they hope to locate them in the future. They are also in the early stages of building a community building on or near the park and working on grants to build a playground. Infrastructure may not be the most exciting thing to boast about, but Conley knows it's vital for the city's people. I grew up outside of Flint and the water is really important. We are working really hard to make sure that our water is safe. Years ago, a new wastewater treatment plant was built and the water is continuously screened for PFAS and other toxic chemicals. There are big projects to update city sidewalks and streets. Many residents have already noticed the bridge work over the Cedar Creek. I know lots of people are frustrated because it closes off Main Street, but when it's done, it will be safe and fabulous. Downtown, businesses continue to grow. One standout is a number of marijuana shops on Main Street. Conley said the city council worked for years researching and ultimately decided it was a health benefit to many in the community. While it's too soon to tell the tax benefit, Conley said owners have joined the chamber, been part of trash cleanups and other city initiatives. I think they're a good asset to the community in a way a lot of people didn't expect. Overall, for the flannel capital of the world, expect to see quite a few things come Coming while maintaining that small town feel in the next five years. In Cedar Springs, Elena Holland, 13 on your side.